In this video I'm going to show you how to work with markers. Markers are very useful if you're working with a, a longer sound. It could be that you're working on a, a soundtrack for a film for instance and you've got separate pieces of dialogue and you may wish to pro provide markers that allow you to move quickly within a longer soundtrack. So let's show you this in action. You should have or you will need to have the markers window open. If you haven't got it open just go to window and markers. As you can see it brings up this empty panel. Now it's empty because I haven't got any markers in at the moment. So I've got a sound file that's nearly six minutes long and it contains speech by several different characters for a film. Now I wish to place some markers in to show me where each character is talking. So I'm going to move my, uh, or we'll call this a timeline or our playhead, um, I'm going to move this to the beginning of where a character makes a speech. Right there. Now, over on our Windows panel, I can click this icon here and I can add a Q marker. As you can see, it labels it at the top, marker one. And you can double click and change the name of it. Um, let's just call it Bob Speech One. So let's add a few more. I've got uh, another character who's gonna speak roughly about here. So I'm going to add in a second marker, uh, I can rename that, Mary Speech, um, and you can add it for sound effects, um, we could put one here for alarm, Now you can see I've got markers and they're all labeled at the top and that allows me to navigate through a sound very, very quickly and efficiently. Now, if we look at our transport, you can see that we can actually move the playhead straight to a particular uh, marker by just hitting the move to next, move playhead to next button or to previous. So that allows us to move very quickly to a particular part of the soundtrack we want. And that's just a very basic look at how to set up markers for a soundtrack.